fellow Amazonians, I encourage our forces to note the following. There is a difference between resistance and liberation. The resistance strategies which we have adopted, including ghost towns, other forms of civil disobedience, is different from the holistic liberation strategy that is going to give us freedom. I have laid out a carefully planned liberation strategy which all forces can adopt, but it will require a huge amount of money to transition between the resistance phase and the liberation phase. Within the process of liberation, there will still be the component of resistance. That is why the tax drive that we are engaged in is important, crucial in ensuring the success of the liberation phase. It will benefit all forces on the ground. All forces on the ground who adopt the liberation tax will also benefit from the deal tax, which is the diaspora tax. So far, the response from the diaspora has been phenomenal. And I ask each and every one of you to trust in the institutions we've put in place, to trust in the track record we've, we've laid in terms of the strategies that we've used in prosecuting this war. At the period of transition, everyone will be included in the transition process in establishing a constitution from Amazonia that will usher in true independence. It will be a collective process. None will be left out. The good, the bad, the ugly. The process of accountability will take place during independence. So I ask each and every one of you to trust in what we are doing. It is altruistic, it is selfless, and is dedicated towards the freedom of our country.